You may find it beneficial to place a yoga block between the thighs for this exercise. Begin by contracting the abs with the chin tucked, posteriorly tilt the pelvis and drive the hips up powerfully using the glutes. Maintain balance throughout the foot as you do this and maintain a slight tension inwards against the yoga block. We're trying to move purely from the hips and by posteriorly tilting or tucking the pelvis, we encourage a nice hip flexor stretch in the process. For the second variation, we'll assume the same position and then begin to extend one knee. By doing this, we load only one leg and it becomes a challenge to keep the pelvis and midline in a stable, neutral position. If we can do this, it strengthens the glute to stabilize the whole pelvic structure. For the third variation, we'll assume the same position without a yoga block and we'll bring one knee up, pressing into it with the same side hand. Maintain the posterior pelvic tilt and drive the hips up and lower down without releasing this pressure from the hand into the knee. This will help us to strengthen the psoas muscle while working through the range of hip extension. Pay attention to the pressing leg and make sure that the foot is stable with the knee directly above it.